Aloha and welcome back to Living 808. Now, if you're in the other room, I want you to come in and hear this. Sandra's story about how aquatic therapy has helped live her life dealing with fibromyalgia. Check it out. Well, um, I actually have post-traumatic fibromyalgia, and it's, um, it happens from a trauma, and then the fibromyalgia set in because of the trauma. And it is widespread pain and nerves. 16 years ago when I, I got injured, for two years I went through numerous doctors, um, other physical therapies, land physical therapies, chiropractors, massages, um, medication, and it all didn't work. None of it worked. And someone told me, suggested that I go into the pool. My biggest problem with my fibromyalgia is that um, it's very difficult for me to bear any weight. And the pool, of course, you know, takes away that. And so I went to La Pietra 14 years ago, and Julie was my physical therapist. And I, I want to tell you, when I first got into that pool, and of course I was very negative at that time, very skeptical about a lot of things. When I walked in, it was like, wow. So Julie was my therapist for a few years, and then she went on to, to different things. And then the pool at La Pietra closed. And someone saw an ad on the TV, and we got connected again, and I've been with her for seven years. It has been really good, terrific. She hear, she listens to what your problem is. And for a lot of things, it's difficult for me to do. So she tells me, oh, okay, I want you to do 10 of these, you know, and I'm like, oh no, I can't. Okay, went into five. And that's what I really, really love about her. And, and the pool is just wonderful. It's heated, you know, there's, because the cold bothers the fibro, you know, the nerves, and um, it's just really a, a good thing. You know, I do a little walking, I do some, some aqua jogging, and then just recently I attended a class that she was offering for um, Tai Chi, which is Tai Chi, but in the water, and I'm really enjoying that. For me, it's, it's part of my life. It's something that there is no not coming, no quitting, because without it, I would not be able to move around like I do now. There is no uh, quitting. It's just something that's got to be done. I worked my way up to do some land, which I never thought I'd be able to do in a million years. <laughs> but I can do some land things. I never thought I'd be able to do it. You know, I've had it for 16 years. I was in my 40s, and I thought, wow, what happens when I get into my 60s if I'm feeling like this. I am in my 60s now. And you know what? I'm living. And it's, it's uh, you know, I'm not saying it's just all so wonderful, but life is good and you gotta keep moving. Wow, I'm joined now by Julie Moon of Moon Physical Therapy. It, it's an amazing story, isn't it? Really In inspirational. It is. No, and actually, I've gotten a chance to get into that aqua therapy pool, and um, I went backwards. And as you can see, Sandra was just <laughs> going along. She's amazing. Now, first of all, talk about fibromyalgia. It's such a... Um, I mean, I still kind of have a hard time understanding. It's such a difficult, hard to analyze, and hard to diagnose um, condition, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real... It, it's a complex condition. Um, 80, 80 to 90 percent of uh, those uh, people that have it mm -hmm, are mm -hmm. females, hmm. Um, and uh, there's it's hard to diagnose because there's not one symptom. It's actually a, a combination of different mm -hmm. symptoms. So mm -hmm. patients could have generalized and widespread pain. They could have tenderness all over, um, headaches, um, mental and physical fatigue. So many things. Wow. There's so many things. And what's really deceiving about this uh, type of condition is on the outside, they look healthy. Yeah, yeah. But on the inside, it's where they're suffering. And a lot of times they can't even walk to the mailbox to that, get their mail. That's what Sandra was saying. It was yeah. just impossible for even her to get up in the morning and get out of bed. She's, what was wrong? What was wrong? And it's so important that she was talking about the physical therapy because, uh, and for, correct me if I'm wrong, there is no cure for the condition, right? There's no known cure. Mm -hmm. um, they, they seem to think it has to do with um, the way the nervous system process, processes pain. And it can mm -hmm. be due to like um, surgery or trauma or a major emotional stress. Um, but because there's no cure, what we have to do is try to help them manage their symptoms. Mm -hmm. And research studies have shown that 
Um, moderate regular exercise actually helps improve their symptoms. It lessens pain, it reduces their depression levels and improves their overall function. Um, and a lot of these patients, they're, you know, they say physical activity increases their pain. So a lot of times they're reluctant to exercise. Yeah. But if they work with a physical therapist that is familiar with fibromyalgia, the, the therapist will actually help them, uh, teach them how to start slow, how to pace themselves, how to set realistic goals. And they're there if they want to modify the mm -hmm. program, just in case if they're having a bad day. Um, with fibromyalgia patients, it's, it's really important because there's a fine line between exercising just enough mm -hmm. so that they can get the benefit and mm -hmm. then exercising too much where they'll have flare-ups. And the flare-ups could last for days. Well, and I think that's why uh, she was saying it was so important that y you're so great at listening. I mean, you have to really listen to what she's saying and maybe this day is good and this day is bad. Yep. But also, too, is that why what you guys offer at the Aquatic Therapy, you know, she was saying you get in the pool, it takes the weight off. So it really helps starting that process of, of therapy, right? Yeah, um, uh, a lot of patients with fibromyalgia, they respond really well to warm water exercise. They're intolerant to cold. Um, they have difficulty exercising on land. So um, because relaxation for them is really important to controlling the fibromyalgia pain, um, being in the warm water, it actually helps them um, it provides a sensory stimulation to the whole body, wow. so it helps them relax and it reduces their stress levels. That's amazing. So the whole time that they're in there, they're able to improve range of motion, increase their strength and endurance, all the while without exacerbating their pain. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and we still with Sandra Strait, now she's doing more weight-bearing exercises. She's doing more stuff on land because of what she started at the aquatic right. therapy Right. Yeah, side. so she started with me in 2008. And she's come such a long way that she's right now in our maintenance program. So she exercises one day in the water and she's progressed to a land-based program. Um, she's become, become such an inspiration to me and some of my other fibromyalgia patients. I've actually introduced her to um, some of our newer patients that need the encouragement and yeah. motivation. Yeah, I know. And it's been, I got to ask you, you know, you've worked with her for so long. Is it, is it make you feel good inside to see her, I mean, just come out? I, I was talking to her and I was like, you're doing better in the pool than I was. I was I amazed. <laughs> How does that make you feel inside to see, you know, her enjoying and living life to the fullest now? It's it's so rewarding. Mm -hmm. It's so rewarding. And, you know, over the years, we've just developed a relationship where, you know, it's not just patient therapists. We're actually friends. Oh, and so um, she's... Yeah, she's been a real inspiration to me and to everybody else that's there. Actually, thank you so much. And thank again, when you. it comes to great therapy like this, if you know someone that needs help, again, having a physical therapist that listens and can actually help you out all the way through, that's why Julie Moon is the best at Moon Physical Therapy.